This is the third time I've actually recorded this because every time I do it just doesn't doesn't feel real yet. It's been a um it's been a hell of a two months. At the end of June, I was here at the shop and got a phone call from my partner saying that the police were at our house. And I figured something had happened and I said, just come meet me at the shop. You know, I've, I've got to be here because I've got to work. And they said I needed to go home. I went home and that's when they told me that my mother had been murdered. I mean, it's not the kind of thing you really expect to happen, ever. I'm not going to go into all the details and that. And there's an ongoing police investigation. The person who did it's been caught. But it it's just not what you'd ever hope for anyone to happen. <clears throat> so I had to close the shop for a couple of weeks while we dealt with everything there because we had to obviously empty out all of her possessions, clear through everything. You know, my family aren't rich, so my mother didn't really have anything. It's not like she owns a house or anything that we have to deal with. <clears throat> all she has is a little bit of super maybe a life insurance policy attached to that, but because she didn't leave a will, we've now got to go through a legal process to try and potentially get access to that, and that's going to take months. I'm a one-man show, so I had to close for about a month to be able to deal with that, and that has... Uh, that, that's hit me hard. Being a one-man show and having a small business, I can't afford to take time off to grieve and process things. We were lucky that we were able to get the funeral all dealt with and that was all organized, thankfully. Due to the nature of the attack, we had to have a closed casket funeral. And next week is my birthday. So for the first time in 38 years of existence, it'll be. I won't have my mother doing that thing she does where she calls me up in the morning go and starts singing happy birthday to me. And I'm struggling. Obviously, it's bad enough losing a parent. Losing a parent while you're in your <laughs> late 30s, especially when your mother is only 53, is hard. <clears throat> it's just made even worse by the fact that I couldn't even look into her face to say my goodbyes. And while we clean that house, unfortunately, friends at cleaners don't always get everything. So there's going to be a lot I have to deal with over the next while, but I can't afford to leave the shop and that. I'm already in a bunch of debt because of you know, having to take so many weeks off. We had to pay for solicitors, we had to do all that. As much as it hurts my pride, and part of the reason why I'm doing this video, other than sort of like touching base with people who do subscribe, you know, <laughs> the almost 2,000 of you, is that you know, we set up a GoFundMe to help cover those expenses and to try and help you know, my siblings and I continue on because this has affected us a lot. The violent acts of some random person who knew my mother for all of two weeks. 
has now potentially cost more than just the emotional trauma that we'll deal with for the rest of our lives, but it might even cost, might even cost our livelihoods, especially me. My siblings, they've got, they've got jobs. They can continue on, they've got sport there. I had to come back to work because I can't afford not to. So, I've put a link to the GoFundMe down in the description. Even if you, know, you don't have a dollar to spare, which I mean, we're all being hammered at the moment with the current economic reality, so I don't blame you if you don't. Sharing it around so people might be able to help out. That would be greatly appreciated. I'll be back making videos from this week, partially because I need to, you know, I need, I need money, I need the ad revenue. <laughs> um, partially because I need more people to bring in repairs because taking so many weeks off and having the shop closed has meant that fewer people are coming and visiting for repairs and I don't have the luxury of taking time off. <sighs> so, you know, thanks for checking this out. And yeah, I suppose I'll see you on the next video. And you know, thank you to anyone who can donate, and thank you to anyone who shares it around.